even though the story is very simple. Every moment in the film is a surprise. So I wanted to ask you first, uh, this is really your first feature. How long did it take you to make it? Um, it took uh, six weeks for the journey, and then uh, nine months for editing at night, and then the holiday too. Because at no time I was busy in the day, so I was working at night. I lost to edit in that with my dear editor, Jeff Nicolosi, great, great guy. And the script, I wrote it in very quickly. I wrote the story in like in two or three days. It was someone killed himself in the judge's office with a, with a, a letter opener. He put it in his heart, he died, and I wrote this in a moment. I need to know it about this is our thing. And uh, I figured out how can I do this? How can I go to that point to be able to, be able to do this? To have to do this? So that's why I invented the story. Which um, I'm very happy to have been able to realize and to see you see it tonight, which is for me a great privilege for you. The film itself speaks to a, a life lived in a lot of different kinds of art. Not only the movies, but visual art, because that's in part what you do. You have a gallery, you... But visually, the film is really surprising all the time. There's not a shot in it or an edit in it that one expects in a conventional way. And so I wanted, can you talk a little bit about the kind of uh, risks or adventures you took with the mise-en-scene? I had the idea to do it like for myself, like when I take pictures, I always think of, well, that's in the frame, in the frame, and I love the frame, I've been framing all the you know, and I love to look at little things like uh, it for me a couple of little things when you feel the movements that uh, you can see very close the ants, for instance. So I, I filmed ants once and I did it in the movie. And this movie is done like uh, a lot of, of things I'm looking at in my own life. Um, what I, I, I pay attention to my small things and I love it. I love it. I love nature, I love things, I love people. I love to, to be respectful to the people as long as I'm interested in people, for people. So the film that really reflects this um, work of uh, as, as an amateur, I did the movie very free because I have no goal. I've never learned about to make a film. So, I feel very free and I did it really the way I wanted it to be. Exactly the way I wanted it to be. I take up uh, my responsibility, I say my responsibility of the film the way it is. Even if you can see a film that uh, I have maybe the freedom of an amateur, and maybe the boucherie, the boucherie is an amateur, you see the death. You know, you say boucherie, flum, fancy, fancy. Maybe I'm in the transition sometimes because, well, it's my first work of the film, by the way, no work to um, the film. The young girl who is really wonderful, how many, how many young actresses did you see before you chose her? A lot, a lot, really. I think someone saw 600, maybe I saw 100. But uh, the first time I saw her, I knew it was going to be her. Yes, really. Because in Romania, I saw her. She's lovely. She had a little place. She lives in a village. Her parents want to work on the music from fields and studio in the country. So she's, she's not in the city. She's not doing any shopping or very yeah, She reads books and she wants to be a publisher for her. Um, uh, the science fiction. She wants to be a publisher for science fiction. Please. And then the uh, first time I saw her, it was three years ago. So she was ne not ten. Yes. And when we came, she was eleven, and now she's thirteen. 
And she's great. She's lovely. Yeah, she's really great. And I, uh, and I think the best life start very much too. Yeah. Yes, they, they became so much friends together. It was beautiful to watch. And the story was in it. It was after spring at the same time. It was very nice. It was the best thing. It's all my man. I love him very much. I know him for a long time. And he wanted a little role in the movie. So I said, why don't you take a role for the truck driver? And that was done. And then he did. <laughs> so very lucky the way he did. And did you encourage them to, all the actors, did you encourage them to improvise in all the scenes or, or no? Was this very close to the script? Well, the script is, but they, they could improvise. They, yes, sometimes they said, they did something, I was surprised. And, because we go on very well together. Because I don't know if he's a great actor, a lot of theaters in France, and um, the performance. And uh, Sylvie Testu, she's a great actress. And uh, it was the first time they were playing together. And Marie Simbaro, who she didn't care, is, and she said, I just can't be a gentleman of his mother, because she had to be my mother. And I think that I don't close the family in like that. And, and I saw that Julia was looking a little like, um, like Sylvie, and I think the family was probably okay. And I did the, I did the design, but my, my work is to stylist. I'm a stylist. So I, my film is full of my way styling such things, which is normal. But even the construction for the house, where I live, I did my pet myself and I did everything to the colors and it's, it's a decor. And I did it my V studios, which was for me extraordinary to, to film my, my film there, because it's a very historical studio of ours. So we had the room of the girl, the room of the parents, and the room of the lead. And I wanted people to go down to this, uh, this scene and the stairway going in front, because everything was for me like a theater, like a floor. So it's a big floor, a big floor. The house for me was a big floor, like a big floor, and another one. So, Jean Paul Sartre had influenced his own influences. So, I thought it was a need to go for the people, and we would be like on a, they would be like on a stage, and we would be the outside, we would be on the audience of what's going on in this uh, very dark uh, house. Okay. Uh, we're going to take some questions from out here. Wait till yeah. the mic gets to you. Anyone? Yes, here. Yeah, right here in the front, first row. This was a very interesting and touching story. Was it a completely original idea, or did you draw upon uh, experiences that people told you about, or that you had yourself? Well. I've been saying since the beginning, it's not my own story. But maybe I know what I'm talking about. And even with the doctor, you know, when we went to the script, you see all the producers, TV, no one wanted the story because it started with uh, incest. So we did the movie ourselves. No one had turned into the story. So I'm lucky because I've been able to like someone who published a book about how to do it, as you said. So the film has been done only by us. It's a very good budget. And, and everyone has been paid. I hate when they say, no, 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 no one is going to be paid. I hate this. So it's a very low budget. So I have all what I wanted. And I've been doing my trip to myself, filming the, the filming when editing, I've been filming with a little Harry Zoomy again, but I'm only at the museum in Spring Records because we have this film. 
for us at the same time, both of us, to do any good film with it, uh, to be honest So I figured when I saw the screen record that that was the little Agnes Muni, and I've been filming again the Agnes Agnes Muni to screen when I was editing. So that's why sometimes there is a change of camera that's so easy, so simple, the way I could do it myself. I'm a good cook, for example. I'm a cook, but I have no words for cooking. It's so easy to understand. Yes. Uh, right behind, in the yeah. second row, in the middle of Jim. Uh, thank you very much for this very provocative film, as well as beautiful. My question, there's, there's three parts of my question. You can answer them any way you want. When did you give yourself permission to tell this story? And why did you, how, how hard was it to keep it from a child's point of view and not the informed by the adult world around her? I think some things that happen when you are small keep you mature, keep you mature but yeah. immature at the same time. And maybe I, I am in this case, maybe I'm in this case, I, 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 love, I love children and I love children very much. And um, there is something that I could understand from this girl. She understood very well what I wanted. When she defies her father with the leader and singing at the same time, uh, and I think the way she looks at her father is really a great thing she gives to him, she gave to him to us at that time, at that minute. For instance, it's just a scene when she defies her father before going to kill. And the way she says, um, she keeps her time to. We knew herself a little after this very strong scene. So I think the way she says, you can it too? After this dramatic face she has a few minutes before, a few seconds before. For me, it's a present from her to me. Someone else? Yes, yeah, yeah. Right here. Okay. It's exactly a follow-up to, to that scene. I, uh, I, I was wondering when she says, um, let's make a cake to her siblings. Yeah, I, was thinking, I, I was thinking mm -hmm. of uh, Podan, which is also an incest story. Yeah. Yeah. And I think of her that is making a cake. And, uh, yeah. Children, they love to make pancakes or cake. You know, it's really for, uh, for them a uh, moment of uh, sharing and things. Putting their hand in everything, so children love it. So she has the idea to change the atmosphere with the king cake. That's, that was in my script already at the beginning. Yeah. And there's another cake with the grandmother who is looking sure. at the cake. So could you talk a little bit about that grandmother? The grandmother, she's, um, you know, the little girl tries to speak to her. She tries to say something to her, I want to stay with you. I could go to school in your village, in Sabelois-sur-Loire. She wants to stay in Sabelois because she doesn't want to go back home. Her um, mother can't imagine what's going on there. She can see she's not like usual. She, she feels like she's getting bad, worse and worse. I don't know what's going on. But the grandmother, she's too pure. Imagine things like that from her own father, uh, son. She can't imagine that. So the girl had tried to, to tell her parents, no. And she said later that I couldn't tell that to my mother. She would be too sad. And, uh, and she knows the family would be destroyed if she tells the story. And that's what the, the toy driver understands, Peter. He understands that. Uh, if she has to say it's my father, the family is going to be um, destroyed. So that's why I think it is a, it makes a sacrifice on, of himself to, for his family to stay together. And he knows that, I think he knows that he can't stay in prison for 20 years. 
He's a truck driver and got no family. He's on the road, the road is his life, he's on life every day's life. <coughs> so he can't imagine to be in a prison for so long time. He doesn't want to have to kill himself for me. It's a tragedy, he said. It's a one tragedy, one movie. And I have to be alone. The first thing I saw in my life was when I was sitting by my father, looking at the world and the south of France, looking at everything. And for me, the first movie I saw, I think it was a, it was a, a, it was a road movie made, made only by the past week. That's the way I started looking at everything. I never said. Someone else out here? Yes, you're in a second. Thank you. Agnes, you're a wonderful fashion designer, but you're a superb storyteller. This film broke my heart. The relationship between Peter and Celine when they were taking part, it's just heartbreaking. Um, what are your plans for the future? Will you continue to design fashion, or will you continue to make films, or both? If I was didn't continue to design fashion, I would be naked up here. <laughs> <laughs> I design clothes, you know, fashion, I'm not that interested in fashion. I always say that, but I love to design clothes uh, from people, from people to feel right, and to be able to think about something else. Which is, of course, so important. So I love to do my work. I love to design. I don't have a studio. I have my collaborators around me. But I don't have a studio. I design. I can't put my name on something. I didn't design myself. It's like that. So I still design and I love to do it. It's really I enjoy. And the last two years I've been doing film until the night and. When I work with the day, so I'm used to it. And um, I've been always working with children at home, I've been always doing anything at the same time. But I always say I'm quite a really person, I love to do so many things. I love art, I love natural, I love food, I love wine. <laughs> well, I love my friends most, more than anything else. Yeah. And my children, my family. Another question? In the back? No? You got it right inside. Okay. There you go. Hi. Um, so, your clothes were always influenced by film, it seems. So, I was wondering how your films are influenced by other directors and other artists. I don't know, you know, I have so many, um, so many. And the directors I admire, probably from countries, from different times. But uh, you know, I have cinema, all of the cinema, we love cinema. And when you have cinema, you don't know, I don't know, I don't think of this thing, I don't think I was thinking about, uh, not from a director, but we see, which is very classic in America, when in the, in the Western, in the Western, when they do the fire and the evening and the they lie down on the and it's only seven or before and there's the fire. And this was I wanted to have seen like in the Western, which is a moment of sharing and the I don't know the sadness, you know, this, the, the campsite with the fire and, and this I didn't put this typical tea, uh, coffee pot from America, you know, this brilliant of a coffee pot you can see it. So Westerns, all Westerns. But for me, this scene, uh, it was an allusion to me, but I don't know if it's a question. It's a good one, nice one. Mm -hmm. And it's a moment with the uh, Cosmopolitan, Italian, and the Japanese, and they come together, and it was for me a metaphor of going together, together, um, two other guys, 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 two other Yes, I wanted to ask a question about your use of formats. Uh, we know here in New York about your support of photographers who came out of the, the late uh, 70s of club scene, uh, music scene. But the film that kept 
my memory kept going to while watching this was tarnation. Although it doesn't look like tarnation, it feels like tarnation. And I wondered about, the, once again, back to the format. You would choose to show different formats in your film. Where did that come from? And is my feeling of tarnation significant to you?